Today on Tracy's Basement, we've got a super nostalgic package from Boss Flight Studios. We can't wait to get this open to show you guys and add it to our collection. Hey Basement Geeks, welcome back to Tracy's Basement, the channel for geeks by geeks. If you enjoy what we do on this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and you will always know whenever we have something new for you guys. Today we have something wicked awesome I'm from Boss Fight Studio. I'm so excited. Jason in particular is very excited. <laughs> I'm super amped for these. This is a newish item from the Bucky O'Hare line of figures. We are super, super excited to add it to col the collection because you guys know we've shown off the Bucky O'Hare figures before from Boss Fight Studio yes, and they are some of there. our absolute favorite items. So, yeah. So these are the original Bucky O'Hare figures we showed off on the channel. And if you watched our uh, top 10 favorite pickups of our second year on YouTube, these guys were very, very high on the list. These Way are the list. These are some of the favorite uh, figures I've added to the collection that we've got here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I absolutely fell in love with them. I, it was a huge nostalgic boost line. It's a massively good update. I think Boss Fight Studios absolutely killed it with these guys. They put a wicked yeah. amount of love into these and, figures. And, and I even said, uh, I, honestly, even though Bucky is the star of the show, I think Jenny was the better figure overall. But now, she's got some competition, so we've got to take a look at this guy to see if he is the best of the line. And it's going to be a fight, because this was my favorite character in the show. I absolutely love this character. Hence the childlike excitement. This is Deadeye Duck. Now, you don't see Deadeye Duck yet, because the first thing I want to bring up is this is the special exclusive version of Deadeye Duck. This is the... Corsair Canard variant, they call it, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, basically Doesn't a different. That sound awesome. <laughs> I know, it's pretty, pretty cool. It sounds so '90s cartoon, eh? The Corsair Canard, <laughs> but uh, like it's so Saturday morning cartoon. This comes in a special lunch tin, a little lunch tin, with the Bucky O'Hare design adorns. And look at the cool artwork on that. It is, isn't that wicked? Cool? It looks like they took images right out of the comics, yeah. and it's. Beautiful. So this <laughs> it's is so beautiful. Now, if you look, I believe the artwork on the front, uh, you see here in the show in the overlay, uh, I believe these artworks are the backing cards for the regular figures. Now, I could be wrong, but I recognize the Bucky and I recognize the Jenny figure. Now, they do sell a regular Deadeye that does come in the backing card style if you're the kind of person who keeps them on the backing card. And they all come in collector-friendly pack, like backing oh, cards, beautiful collector so pack. so that you can actually <laughs> remove them and put them back in, which is absolutely fantastic. Because I love to take figures out, I love to pose them, stuff like that. But the card art on these is actually really, really beautiful. It's really well done. I'm and not an inbox. Love into the packaging too. I'm not an inbox collector, but I will not fault anybody for displaying these with the card art because, well, you have the option to take them out. Number one. And the card art on this isn't just some stupid box. It's actually fantastic. But this one is quite different because it comes in the special collector's lunch tin. So like I said on the front, it shows the Bucky O'Hare crew. It's got the righteous indignation on the back. That is their ship. And of course, it's got all the toads on the side. Look at that. Look at all the toads for the Toad Wars and stuff. That was such a great idea for, for a special packaging. Oh, super cool. Super cool. I mean, who didn't have one of these tins? Not necessarily Bucky, but everybody from our generation well, had I, one of these I, uh, No, boxes. I had one of those plastic lunch boxes with the stupid clips oh, on. That's what I always had. Terrible. It's cool. Everybody did. They came with the thermos. And they were dirt cheap. So everybody's, <laughs> everybody's parents bought them because they were cheap. And they had like a Ghostbusters sticker on it or something like that. But, Regardless. let's get in to the box to see what he looks like. And, oh, oh, that's cool. Is he ever displayed well? That's Okay, that's so nice. look at that. Is that ever spread out? Nice. I gotta be honest, I was kind of just expecting him to be in a smaller yeah. packaging laying in there. But I honestly did, yeah, like sideways or something. as though this is the box. So what? that's pretty okay. cool. Okay, uh, yeah, I did. I expected <laughs> him sideways, like kind of just shifted in there with some kind of card on it. But that is actually really displayed nicely and all his uh, extra parts which he has a ton of are uh, are really spread out look at all those parts he's got eight gun no ten guns oh geez he's yeah. got ten guns, of guns two sets two extra sets of hands 
and you know he's got four arms so the posability options are crazy on this guy and he's got two extra bills duck bills for uh, the different expressions. So. I like how instead of uh, a, a different face like the other characters, he just has the, the bill removed. Well, I mean, <laughs> one of his eyes is just an eye patch, so how much more different eye position and everything can you get? But uh, let's actually take a look at the figure. Oh, 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 this is cool. This is cool. This is so he's, cool. He's like a kid in a candy store. I love <laughs> these figures. I, I am in absolute love with these figures. I can't deny it. Uh... I love them. I, I follow them. They just announced Bruiser is coming in the next wave, too. But this isn't a Bruiser video. This is a Dead Eye Duck special variant uh, video. And look at this guy. So he's got, of course, massive pose ability in his legs. So many points yep. of articulation. So many figures. points of articulation because he's got four arms. Look at it. Look, he's got the... Uh, it, they're supposed to be for holding guns, but it almost looks like he's got the um, rock on hands <laughs> oh, up yeah, right now. Eh? <laughs> But, uh, and of course, he's got, let's start talking about his head. He's got the green hat on with the headphones. And of course, the super detailed eyes that look like they're plucked yeah, right out of the comics. Their, their eyes are so well done. Yeah, they're definitely, they're, they're, they, they don't, they look more like the comics, uh, I'd say, than the actual shows, like the comic artwork. Uh, they're very, very extremely well done. He's got the green eye patch, and I love the purple and green. I love his regular color scheme, which is the orange one, but I don't have that dead eye duck. I I've been meaning to get it, <laughs> but I'm super happy to have this variant because I love the purple and green color scheme. It's just, it's got a very 80s, 90s vibe For to sure. it. And it's very vibrant. Yeah. The green is very like neon green vibrant. It's very awesome. cool. I love the four arms. He's such a, a typical 80s and 90s cartoon, so you know, cool. anthropomorphic animals with weird special <laughs> abilities and, and, and things like that very nice and he does have the little duck tail there of course as well he's got the gear on across his chest and i believe you can connect the guns yeah they're like little um peg the, holes yeah there's little pegs so that you can connect the guns there and he has yeah. them on the front too so yeah. if you want it he could have a lot of guns he on could have, He could just be... He could, be, he could go full <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger commando. Just oh, and he's got them on the, the battle, side, too. So. so technically, you could put all of his guns on him at once. You really could. <laughs> I mean, that'd be that'd be one army of uh, duck. That'd be, yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty great. The so one good. duck army. <laughs> There's lots of details, like uh, the wrinkles and the lines and the clothes and everything. He's got the knee pads, and he's got the big duck feet. You can see the toes sticking out through the... Uh, not through, but you yeah. can see the side, the shape of the toes through his like leather boots or whatever. Yeah, this and is... what's really awesome about these figures, like the Bucky and Jenny, is like we say, all the extra stuff so that you can pose them and get these nice like scenes and stuff, make them look exactly yeah. the way you want them to look for yourself. I've taken a few shots of the Bucky and Jenny for Instagram because they are just so fun. To they display. are so photographic. It's these unreal. are so. These are such amazing figures. And like I said, again, I like the color scheme, but it is insane the amount of accessories he comes oh, yeah. with. Like, it's show crazy. off those accessories there. So all of the hands he's hold, he's got now are for holding the guns. But he also has a splayed out hand, like everybody seems to have. He has a fist. He's got a thumbs up. Nice. Uh, and this one he's holding chalk. <laughs> Not 100% sure. I don't know. I thought it was a cigarette at first, to be honest, but I don't think the, I gotta, the character smoked. No. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta refresh a lot of my memory. Uh, it, on it, this look, it looks like he's holding yeah. a writing utensil. Yeah. Anyway. The splayed out hand, though, I like to call that action pose hand. Yes, action pose. It's, it's little. It's a little more uh, like you know action sounding than than splayed out. You know I what I mean? I we always know say why the word splayed always. Well, we splayed. always say splayed out, so it's just <laughs> habit now. But I think we're going to start calling that action pose action hand because it's habit. always like yeah, action pose hand. So action pose hand is always a big one. He has two orange guns, four purple guns, <laughs> and four kind of army green guns. That's a lot of guns. He got lots of gun lot options. Of guns. <laughs> that, that is an insane amount of guns right there. And so. he has the two extra bills. So this bill he's got like the grimace, the one that's on him. He's got one that's the closed mouth, and he's got another one that's kind of like more open on the one side, so it's, it's almost like a sneer. Yeah, so you can get yeah. <laughs> you can get his uh, different expressions. Now, one thing I don't think I don't know if you noticed this or not, so I'm going to uh, bring this up. But each set of guns is actually different guns too. They're not the same oh, guns. Oh yes, I didn't. He's got, I actually didn't yeah, notice that. He's though. got two uh, that look like your regular space pistols. 
He's got one that looks like, it's almost like a space pistol with a silencer or a long range one or something. And it got another one that looks a bit like a ray gun. So very <laughs> future space 90s. Very future nice. space cartoon 90s. So they're not actually all the same mold guns either. They're actually different molded guns. So very that cool. is extremely cool. That's especially cool for like having, he can be holding some of them, but he can have the other ones attached to him, you know, you can yeah. kind of change it up a bit. Kind of like uh, a little utility belt, eh? Very so. cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> oh, I'm giving him his purple guns right now. I don't know if I have all the right hands in for the purple guns, but I'm going to obviously keep showing pictures, overlays that I've probably shown a few already, and uh, you'll see different poses that I take with him. You're going to see a lot of pictures of this guy, I think, on our Instagram. But yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy to have this guy. Honestly, it, it, it's it's I'm okay. Jason's I'm big favorite kid. characters. So. I'm big. This was my favorite character. Like I said, I got really excited when I was told Boss Fight was doing a Bucky O'Hairline because I was just I was like, wow, really, really? They're gonna do Bucky O'Hair? That's a license I hadn't heard from in a long time. Very long time. And then when the figures came out, they blew me away. And they keep lighting this line on fire. So. I'm, I'm gonna keep supporting this line because this is an insanely, insanely good line of toys for an action figure collector. Uh, I recommend this line of toys to anybody who even just likes 90 cartoons or action figures in general yeah. because they're so well done. There's a lot of love put into these figures. You can pre-order this guy now directly on the Boss Fight site. Uh, and he's exclusive to there in Big Bad Toy Store, I think. It was uh, previously exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store, but now Boss Fight has it on their website as well. And he is going to be shipping before Christmas, I believe. So if yeah. you know anybody <laughs> that is yeah. like from our uh, generation or anybody that just loves 80s and 90s cartoons in general. This is a winner toy. This is definitely a winner toy. They oh. really harken back to the original. Harken. Harken. They really harken back to the original action figures while being updated in a major way so that they are just awesome on a display. You can play with them so much. Like, like Jason's got his purple guns in him there, but we can hook yeah. some stuff onto him. We can the put his bills. arms in all kinds of different poses. You can have them, you know, the, the legs and everything have great articulation. So you can do crazy things like what we've got going on with Jenny here. Like, yeah. There's just so much fun that you can have with these. And they look so good. But oh now, God. the ultimate question. Who's the better figure, <gasps> Deadeye or Jenny? I already know that Jenny is... I find Jenny better than Bucky. I love them all, mind you. Uh, and I want every single one of them. But, this is a hard one. And I'm trying not to let my nostalgia get in the way here. But... Oh, my breath. Honestly, for, for action poses... I think Jenny <gasps> might be the best figure still, but for the amount of extra stuff you can do with the fact that Deadeye has four arms, kind of gives him an edge there too. I'm 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 gonna say they're they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think about that one and get back to you on on Twitter or Instagram or something because they're both. Hurting your soul. They're just they're way too they're way too <laughs> fantastic, man. They're way too good. They're way too good. They're all amazing, and I'm so happy to be able to add Jason's favorite character to the collection. Me too! To grow <laughs> the crew of the Righteous Indignation. It's amazing! It's freaking awesome. Thank you so so much to Boss Fight Studios for sending this to show off to you guys. Check out the link in the description box below. We will link to where you can get it on Boss Fight Studios. Guys, let us know in the comments section. Do you love the figures? Do you have the figures? Did you watch the cartoon? Did you read the comics? Any of that good stuff, share with us down in the comment section below. Share your love. And if you, awesome. if you haven't heard of Bucky <laughs> O'Hare before, uh, definitely go look it up. Check it out. It was uh, a huge, especially in Canada, it was pretty big in the uh, early 90s, very early 90s. Uh, I know a lot of people around here who love the show. And when I brought it up to a lot of Americans, uh, a lot of them didn't didn't hear about yeah, it before, no, which was strange to me because I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was still bigger down there. But we grew up on this stuff, and uh, everybody I've shown these figures to has absolutely adored these figures. They cannot believe the amount of love that has gone into these, uh, you know, molds and, and and features and details. Like, like it's 
it, it's a line that that's been loved and cared. Like, like yeah. there's a lot of care goes in. You can tell the people at Boss Fight Studios really cared yeah, about this line. They, they did. did an they, amazing job. And they sold me on it. They sold <laughs> me on it 100%. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with them. You guys, definitely, definitely check it out. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. At Tracy's Basement, Jason from TV on Twitter. Oh god, Jenny's so badass too. <laughs> ah, who wins? <laughs> and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye! <laughs>